the best traders are the best losers. How do we, I become better at accepting the losses? So on some level, we have to think about like the acquisition of knowledge being like the acquisition of like muscle, right? And so in the moment when you take a loss, think of it as like, like the reps of like a, a bench press. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's hard, right, then you're, then you're lifting a lot of weight and you have to really push hard to adopt the right perspective there. You know, first question you should ask yourself was, is this a trade I would take again? And if the answer is yes, then is it a loss? Because I think one, one of the things that traders like significantly misunderstand is, you know, go back to the basketball reference. Mm -hmm. If you lose a trade, that is not equal to losing a game in basketball. Mm -hmm. It's the equivalent of like a turnover. But like maybe the turnover was actually because of a good pass and your, you know, dumbass teammate just like wasn't looking. Yeah. Or whatever. Like it's like, would you do anything differently? Uh, maybe in that scenario, yes. But let's just say it's the scenario is like, no, I wouldn't do anything differently. It was their fault or it was just... He was open. Bad luck, whatever. <laughs> it's something. So it, it's it's like one single moment in you know a 40, 60-minute game, 48-minute game. Mm -hmm. um, that's not a loss. And so we want to kind of change the perspective on, on, on this first and foremost. If the, if the answer is to the question of like, would I take this trade again? Is no. Well, then the loss is irrelevant at that point. Mm -hmm. You have to fix the mistake and that becomes your point of focus. But either way, you have to fight for this perspective because the emotional reaction is oftentimes so intense that it becomes hard to adopt this perspective. And then we're immediately reacting to the loss with taking another trade or, um, you know, one with additional size, right? The, it's the compounding effect that often becomes like the bigger problem. So how do you become better at it? Well, you've got to train the mentality, train the perspective and you do that in the moment. And that might also mean preparing for it at the start of the day. So if you know this is a problem for you, right? Every single day, the odds of you losing one trade, if you're taking at least three, is pretty, pretty high. Very good, yes. So get yourself prepared for it, right? Rehearse in your mind, like review. What are you going to do when you take a loss today? Mm -hmm. And and then it doesn't guarantee that you're going to be ready for it, but at least it's going to make it slightly more likely. And that's that's, again, all we're kind of looking for is you know, kind of increasing the probability of our success. And uh, yeah, off we go.